10 people on board plus the pilot, so 11 deaths. It happened at 7.26 local time, so just about three hours ago now. Uh, we have been getting some eyewitness reports in. An eyewitness told our colleagues at Radio New Zealand he was out walking. He saw flames up to 10 metres high licking around the wicker basket of this hot air balloon before he said, and I quote, it dropped like a rocket into bushes. There was a large plume of smoke that rose into the air. We know that power was cut to this rural area for a short period of time, so it does seem likely that this uh, hot air balloon did crash into power lines. We haven't had that confirmed, though. Uh, the location was at the showgrounds at Carterton. It's a rural community, as you say, around 150 kilometres north of our capital, Wellington. Hot air ballooning is popular in the area. It is one of the favoured pastimes. We don't know yet the identity of the victims, whether they were local, whether they were tourists from around New Zealand or perhaps from other parts of the world. Alistair, thank you very much for updating us live from Auckland this evening. Thank you. The U.S. Navy has rescued 13 Iranian sailors who've been held captive on their fishing boat for more than a month by pirates. The operation yesterday was sparked by a distress call from the Iranian craft. 